I'm now going to do page 330, number 87. Morris says kidneys are failing and he's, he's awaiting a kidney transplant. His doctors give him this information for patients in his conditions. 90% survive the transplant, 10% die. The transplant succeeds in 60% of those who survive, and the other 40% must return to kidney dialysis. The proportions who survive five years are 70% for those with a new kidney and 50% for those who return with di dialysis. Make a tree diagram to represent this setting. This is a sequence of three different events. You have your patient to begin with. The patient will either survive the transplant or unfortunately die. The probabilities are 0 0.9 and 0 0.10. We obviously stop there with that branch of the tree um, with the death. Of those who survive the transplant, 60% of them, the transplant succeeds. 40% of them must return back to dialysis. So that's 0 0.4. This 60% is the one that the transplant succeeds. Of those who where the transplant succeeds, 70% of them survive five years. 30% of them then will not survive five years. Put a frowny face because I'm running out of room. Of the patients who go to dialysis, 50% of them survive five years. The other 50% do not, unfortunately. Here's the truegram outlining all of the different um, prob or excuse me, all of the different outcomes that can happen when a patient has a kidney transplant. That is part A. Now, part B says find the probability that Morris will survive for five years. So there's a couple different ways you can survive for five years. <clears throat> you have the transplant, it succeeds, and you survive for five years. Or, keyword there is or, you have the transplants, you return to dialysis, and you survive for five years. What you need to do now is you need to take each branch and multiply them together. It's a sequence of events. Survival and, keyword, succeeds, and five-year. Multiply that branch together. Or add, survives transplant, and returns to dialysis, and survives five years. Multiply that branch together. That will give you your final probability, and the answer for part B should be 0 0.558.